All right. We're back. Good day, please. some technical difficulties but hopefully everything is back now and running chugging a bit apparently so this guys on their speed of bike um that was interesting um you okay sorry we just had another weird technical difficulty here with people getting electrocuted which is always fun to deal with um that was static or if that was that was weird anyway sorry breaking the fourth wall um
All right. Cool. Sorry. More technical difficulties. We didn't win that fight, apparently. But, um. Okay. Okay. I think I know how one. Let's leave that. I can use. We could go. Yes, the high is shot. Still wrap that insula around, or like a piece of land around. I like that shape. It's kind of hard. So that in the foreground, can I block? And then, yeah, because I want to have like some sort of little platform where these speeder bike things can like land or refuel or something like that. We can still have like a little lighthouse at the end. Pull that down a bit further so at the end of it. Clips like that. Still have a little lighthouse thing that will keep it below the horizon. Some sort of hot air balloon looking thing. These could be the little stations that stop at, and we can just do like a few of them, different spots.
piano one in the foreground. Pretty scrappy there, but it does the job. Needs to kind of figure out. We need a bit of a little bit of design. Balloons, because this is literally just the thing that's kind of out of my head. Doing the thumbnail, but I don't think it's the most successful shape in the world for this actual design so let's just do some little little profile sketches here this could actually be just think of the basic structure stuff, especially when I know I'm going to um, take something into 3D because it just lets you, there's a lot of stuff you can solve with like a really small um, sketch like this, it's, it, you know, it's not anything that I would show anyone ever, but it solves problems for me so I can, don't have to fight with them as I'm doing something for 
birthday. detail areas of this nest or something and, and down to the counterweight which could be on like a really big rope or something like that maybe and have this yeah this big kind of beach ball ladder of gas or something I don't know it's almost like helium but it's not like a proper proper hot air balloon where it's 
fire or something underneath heating it up, but actually just have these bladders of air. So maybe that's when they go to this little tower, just fill them up or something. The, the taper, this coming into a bit more of a point, I think works better. Shape coming in like that, that's a little interesting. Maybe we just find a way to connect that to the roof, probably okay. this like one thing at a time because I kind of like this. I want to get in and build it so yeah let's do that maybe we'll tackle this bit next week take it one step at a time um cool all right let me just save this Building this out with primitives so that we can 
just make some general decisions on proportion and, and stuff like that. Just build this piece by piece. It's all going to be relatively far away, so we don't need to get too crazy with detail. It's like really Structures feel relatively. 
relatively light weight.
spend because we'll probably go at about 4 30 we'll probably spend the rest of the time quickly building this up and simulation on these just to get that looking nice gives us a
as long as it gets a decent shape, it'll look like it's going to go down later. Um, it'll do. Oh, that's right. see underneath that roof I don't think which is probably for the best um... Just in case someone does get a little bit of an angle in there where you 
can see a little bit about about the knee. Extra bolts here. in
quick. Create some upward pressure there. That's still busted, but that's alright. We can sculpt into that. And yeah, cool. All right. Oh, that's kind of collisions dynamically. Probably not. 
That's alright, we can like re-sculpt our balloon inside to be a little bit closer to that. So that's cool, alright. That gives us a nice shape, so we can just apply that. Excellent. Again, that worked pretty well last time. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Full steam bun. Perfect. Apply. Cool. Alright. Nice. Now, what we'll do is move that so it doesn't overlap, and then we'll take this into sculpt mode. Move it around a little bit. I'm going to use this mouse. Just move this around and kind of use the space a little bit more, at least at the edges, just so it looks a little bit better way of doing that but got us what we needed I guess on that I'll just do the just paint the lines in Photoshop later on because that's more work than that
Nice. Alright. I reckon we can probably spend the last half hour try and get a few, few little textures on this. That give us a good indication of like whether or not we need to build anything more or you know see what's up. Um, yeah, cool, alright, so I think some nice little hand painted textures so they end up pretty good for most things. Wood texture that works pretty well. Most of this is going to be wood so I'm just going to start off by kind of same. Look at it and see what we need to change. Lighter wood color. That's and we've got that gold color, so let's see. have kind of like a wood, a gold, and a red or an orange maybe for the canopy. So real different materials. like a different color for the balloon. Sunlight in here. plenty of detail and stuff we can do on that but I'm kind of more keen to do some of that detailing in Photoshop I don't want to spend too much time in here um let's put some
some surface scattering on this. So hopefully that can scatter a bit of light through it. Give that a look and also just mix in a different color with this based on the normals, just extra variation as well. out of this so basically anything that is facing up that so we can just kind of control the thread on that and that's going in as a factor for a mix Way too shiny. Oh, 
Oh. That has a gray on it, that's why that was the best it did. Let's give that the same material as this because that's close enough to a rope color that it should be okay. Awesome. Yeah, let's maybe just do the same thing with. I was I said I was going to do this. Photoshop, but we are here, so we might as well. Sorry. Um, just like down to the middle here. against the balloon itself. That's why that was looking. Um, all right. Capturing light. but
down to white and you decorative piece on the front. Hold these.
that's what I can. There we go. Alright, so I'm just trying to find like a nice. this March wind Just to finish this off, last kind of 10 minutes. to put on those banners.
That's good. In that. Drop that in like that, we'll save that. Bag. Here and really quick unwrap on this and we should material flag. Transfer the UV maps. Very good. Okay. Yeah, that gives us a nice little. here and there and oh. 
against like a nice blue sky or something like that. Yeah. Awesome. Not paying anything. Go on. Be sneaky in there. Um, it is indeed magic. The best. Um, yeah, but no, I think we'll probably leave it there for the day. Um, and yeah, next week we'll come, come back. We'll probably do a little bit of design on the uh, little speeder, probably. We'll have to figure that out. Um, and once we've got those two props, we can start to build the actual actual scene together. Um, as awesome as that little sketch is, but the land and the you know the the water and the terrain shouldn't be anything too complicated. We can smash that together with some pretty simple volumes, and yeah, that'll give us something we can take into into Photoshop and finish up. So yeah, should be a fun one actually. Look like. Um, grab you. Yeah. Um, something. Balloon. Not sure. Hmm. games am I designing this for um I think like th this in particular I'm kind of just doing this for my own my own entertainment really um, I wouldn't necessarily say this is oh god what am I doing um for a game or anything like that but um yeah so I'm not I'm not really putting too much thought into this one as a as a game prop just yeah a bit of fun Um, doing that. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I know what that's happening. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Much better. Um, yeah. A hat like that, I don't know. Why not? Oh. Uh. There we go. Okay. On all of the instances. Awesome. I guess I'm just using some material uh, some collection instances here to just um, get multiple uh, versions of this balloon these two are obviously fight each other but we can turn off the main one um, and so anything we edit on the main balloon will get attached to all the other ones but yeah I think we'll uh, appreciate the, the late flurry of questions and comments but yeah we'll probably leave it there for now i reckon and we'll come back to this next week we'll get that speeder sorted out we probably won't do anything too 
crazy in terms of the modeling on that. Probably just leave most of that up to Photoshop, just get the basic forms in and yeah, we'll keep going and hopefully have a cool, cool piece by the end of it. Yeah, so thanks for hanging out. I will see everyone next week. All right.